So today we're going on this and on Friday we will be going on this bad boy which I haven't been on in many, many weeks and it looks an absolute state. Hello darkness my old friend, I've come to meet you once again, my bow bag is freezing I'm fucking cold. Are we going today? I would like to go. Are you going around? You alright? Yeah, sorry about that. Huh? Alright, okay, <laughs> it's alright. Well, at least they're actually stopped to put the seatbelt on the kid. Yo, yo, yodely, yo, 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 and how is everyone? Good! So, in my last video, a lot of people were asking me to do videos on my dirt bike, and I am more than happy to do that. But at the moment I cannot do it until Friday because it takes a hell of a long time to load it up into my car and take it to the destination and etc etc. So I can't do that until Friday because of work but I will definitely do that for you guys and as always I appreciate your feedback and look at that oil sludge there. So I am absolutely freezing my ass off right now. I need to invest into some thermals. I am so damn cold. Uh, oh. So guys, for a lot of those out there that probably don't know, I suffered from depression and anxiety for a very, very long time. Uh, this all started when I was around about 16, 17, I believe it was. God, it feels like so long ago now. And this was a really hard time in my life and it all started when I stopped seeing my friends because they weren't really friends. They were basically people who I thought they were my friends when really they were just backstabbing mofos. Uh, but that happens in life. And so I ended up just kind of being my own person and kind of staying in my own house and not bothering with anyone at all. Uh, and that's basically where it all started. Uh, I just didn't want to leave the house for ages and for almost a year I did not want to bother leaving the house. I didn't want to communicate with anyone or anything and I just basically hated life. Uh, sorry to bring such a depressing topic but it is what it is. There is light at the end of the tunnel of this video, don't worry. And that was the time that I actually started to go out and do things. Now I did receive counselling and also I was on medication at the time. But the only thing that truly changed me was when I first got a motorbike. And that's when it all began to get better. I know it sounds crazy but it's true. It gave me a purpose in life. I felt so much better in myself and I felt I could do so much more look at that for a view now what I'm trying to get at is basically motorbikes saved my life now you're probably wondering why why I'm saying this but it's purely because it literally saved my life there was a point when I got that depressed and that fed up of life that I was going to commit suicide. Uh, now this is a really sad and honest topic but it's true and the only thing that kind of brought me back from that was basically owning a motorbike because that owning of a motorbike gave me that independence and that freedom and I felt like I could go anywhere, do anything and it gave me a completely different look on life. Now I'm not saying <laughs> get a motorbike and it'll save your life or get a motorbike and it'll make you feel so much better but it does for me personally. You've got to find something that'll make you happy, that'll 
completely changed your life for the better and owning a motorbike was one of those it might be the fact that you like games so you go gaming and it's the thing that kind of keeps you going or you like singing so you sing find something that makes you happy because life is flipping hard no matter what way you look at it there's always going to be times when you're just not going to get the things you want in life and it's going to put you down and it's going to make you feel like that and what I've learnt from that is you've just got to basically fight through it but owning a motorbike it opened me up as well to meeting new people and especially when I started to do moto vlogging that's when I really started to actually trust people again and go out and ride out and do more things with other people and, but today I am fantastic and I've never felt better and I feel like I could do anything and this is why I've held on to YouTube so long is because it makes me feel great it makes me feel so happy that I can actually help other people too with depression and everything else and if they've had the crap day they can just talk to me or whatever or I can make them happy, I can make them smile, I can make them laugh if I can do that then that is what it makes it all worth it that there used to be my primary school as well and that's closing down now and that's crazy to think about that as well and that's proof that the world doesn't slow down around you just because you're having a breakdown and you can't cope with life. The world will carry on no matter what happens to you. The only way to tackle that is to go with it and go with the flow. Because you can't win a war against yourself or against the world. You've just got to kind of cope and do it and take it on. After so many years of struggling and feeling sorry for myself as well, I've learned that you have to just take things on and you can't run away from life that that is one of the things you can never ever do you can't run away from life you can't just go on holiday or live abroad and be like well if I do this for a few years maybe things will change no no it doesn't work like that anybody that goes through anxiety depression whatever needs professional help it's hard to kind of visualize how you want your life as well when it's just you looking at it you need others around you to help you visualize and make that world a better place for yourself and if you have any stories about you suffering from anxiety or depression or anything that's happened in your life then please put down in the comments below because the best way at fighting these things is by talking about it and learning from others experiences and seeing how they've coped with it you might just find the answer what you're looking for and I honestly mean this with open heart if you ever need any help like going through problems or anxiety problems depression whatever I'm here to help you and I'll speak to you and listen to you as much as you want I don't care how old you are if you're really young you're only about eight or whatever or you're in your late 50s 60s I don't care if you need someone to talk to then just come and talk to me now I'm sorry guys this was a bit of a serious kind of moto vlog and everything but oh god that is dangerous oh. <laughs> So yeah guys, I'm sorry it's a bit of a serious moto vlog and everything, but there's just a few things I had to get off my chest and you know, if you don't say and talk about things then nobody will ever know and like I said, people might be suffering out there that are watching my videos now that they need someone to talk to or they're fed up or, or whatever that may be. And I'm not going to label this as help with depression or whatever that because I know YouTube will just be like No, this is not suitable for advertisers. Please get the hell away Because they're just mean ass mofos But once again, dirt bike video will be sorted out by Friday So don't you worry about that. I really do appreciate you wanting that as well Because I have been meaning to take out for a while now and I fully respect your ideas 
So please, if you have any more ideas of anything you want me to do, then put down in the comments below and I will definitely figure it out some way or another. But this has been the Spiky Biker. I will see you again very soon. I love you very much. Don't forget to like, subscribe and also press that bell end because it will notify you of any videos in the future. And I will see you again. Ferris Horn. Ha ha ha, bye. <laughs>